kuna maombi kuna watoto wanafanya mambo mazuri kuna mafundisho kuna misa takatifu kila siku kwa hivyo tafadhali ukipata nafasi utazane utazame kapu chin TV jambo la pili uwaombe kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya manake ndio TV ya kipekee ya Catholic na mabishop wanaisupport kabisa manake inafanya kazi mzuri kama leo kama kuna watu wako Italy wangependa kuangalia what is happening leo wangepata nafasi kwa hivyo muwaombe sana kwa hiyo kazi nzuri ambao wanafanya na jambo la tatu mwa support wewe wana paybill number watumie hata ni kama ni shilingi mbili kwa hivyo tafadhali mwa support mwatumie kitu kidogo kwa paybill number na mambo hayo ili waweze kuendelea na hiyo kazi. Kwa hivyo asatendi father kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya. Tuendelee kufanya kazi paybill number 5106678 account name Caps TV. Na hii Capuchin TV ni chombo kizuri sana na chombo hiki kazi yake ni evangelization kwa hivyo ningeomba mufanya mambo matatu jambo la kwanza tafadhali wewe enda uangalie Capuchin TV kuna mambo mazuri sana kuna maombi kwenye kazi zetu za mvilishaji kama kawaida tumekita kambi kwenye parokia ya tatu mtakatifu eneo la Buruburu kwenye jimbo kuu la Nairobi ni kwa minajili ya siku ya kifamilia ya dekania ya uh, makadara kwenye jimbo kuu la Nairobi kwa minajili ya siku ya kifamilia mbali na sherehe ya familia kumbuka pia ni siku ambapo wakadeti wa Kipaimara takriban tano wanapokea sakramenti ya Kipaimara na pia kumbuka kwenye kanisa katoliki wanalienzi sana familia takatifu na ama siku kuu ya kifamilia je kwa nini hasa kanisa inaipa kipaumbele siku ya kifamilia siku kama hii na umimu gani kwenye maisha ya familia na maisha ya kanisa vile vile tunaungana naye mwalimu wa dini kwenye paroka hii ya utatu mtakatifu anajitambulisha habari yako e, mzuri sana dadangu mimi naitwa katekista Fred Mayao na huduma hapa parokiani ya utatu mtakatifu buruburu 1 ni yapi tunatarajia leo leo tunatarajia siku kuu ya familia ya dekania makadara ambazo tuna parokia nane tuko na holy trinity buruburu 1 tuko na blessed sacrament tuko na isili parish st Teresa's tuko na shauri moyo st joseph and mary tuko na karioko parish tuko na our lady of visitation makadara pia tuko na St Mary Mukuru na Isitoshe. Hizo parokia zote za Makara Residenary zimeungana pamoja ili kusherekea siku kuu ya familia ya dekania. Hmm. Na bwana hasa kanisa linaenzi siku kuu ya familia ama familia na tukiangalia kanisa limetenga siku ya kusherekea familia sababu ni ipi? Kanisa linatamani sana siku ya familia kwa sababu kulingana na mafundisho ya kanisa familia ndiye kanisa ndogo. Tunapondoka kwa familia in kanisa ndogo tunasali pale kama kanisa. Na ndio maana dekania pia inaiga huu mfano wa familia inapokuwa pamoja hizo parokia nane tunakuwa na misa pamoja na baba askofu ili kuadhimisha siku ya familia kama nguzo ya familia kama kanisa ndogo. Maana bila familia hatuna kanisa. Bila familia hatuna wito. Ndio maana kanisa inaenzi sana siku kuu hii ya familia ya dekania ya makadara. Na tukiangalia kwenye sinodi inaoendelea kule Vatican, kanisa kawaida kuna e, uh, katikista mwanamke kama katikista baba ama mwanaume. Na tukiangalia pia baba mtakatifu anatarajia kuapa wanawake wengi nafasi kwenye kanisa. Na pia tukiangalia kwenye sinodi inayoendelea ni mara ya kwanza uh, watu wa kawaida waliweza kupiga kura na maskofu ambapo ni mara ya kwanza ya kihistoria. Labda maoni yako ni ipi? E, kwangu sina shida na hayo maamuzi au fikra baba mtakatifu kwa kuwa pia wamama kusema kweli wako na nafasi yao kanisani. Tumeona wamama wamekuwa watawa 
wa mama washikilia nguzo kamili kanisani wakiwa katika chama ya CWA kweli wanashirika nisani wanajitolea <coughs> kwa matega wanaposali pamoja wanaposaidiana kama wa mama lakini chama chini ya chama yao CWA pia kuna katekista wa mama ambao mama kanisa imewapea nafasi waweze kudumia kanisa takatifu katoliki japo ni wa mama lakini wamekubaliwa kuwa katekista kwa hivyo kweli wanafanya kazi yao kwa usawa wanafanya kazi yao kwa upendo licha yao kuwa wa mama kwa hivyo kanisa pia inatambua wa mama na inapeana wa mama nafasi rasmi kanisani katoliki maana pia wa mama lazima wapewe nafasi yao kanisani wa mama pia wako na wito wa mama wanashiki pia kifamilia bila mama tuna familia mama na baba nakuwa pamoja tunakuwa na familia ndio maana pia kanisa inapeana nafasi rasmi kwa mama wakiwa katekista wanaweza kuwa watawa wanaweza kuwa washiriki chama cha CWA na vyama vingine kanisani vya mama ziko mingi sana Asante. Na turejee siku hii ya leo umetaja kuwa wakadechi takriban 565 wanapokea sakramenti ya kipaimara. Utaratibu ni upi wapo moja anapokea sakramenti ya kipaimara? Ya leo hii tuna uh, candidates 565 ambao wanapewa kipaimara katika dekania ya makadara kutoka hizo parokia zote nane ambazo nimetaje pale awali. Matarisho ya kwanza ni ya kufundishwa na mwalimu wa dini. Wanafundishwa takatifu na pia waweze kujua vipaji saba vya Roho Mtakatifu. Baada ya hayo wanaandaliwa kwa maungamo. Baada ya maungamo sasa wanaruhusiwa na mama kanisa kushiriki misa takatifu ambao kwa hiyo misa ndio watapewa nafasi bora ya kupokea kipaimara wakati askofu baba askofu anapowekelea mikono na pia kupaka mafuta ya krisma takatifu katika misa takatifu. Wajua wengi wanauliza wakati wa kipaimara askofu wanai anaugonga. Labda wisha bwana hasa fanye. Yeah, wakati wa kipaimara we say in English the bishops gives a slight blow on the cheek to the candidate being confirmed as a sign that that candidate has become a soldier of Christ and as a soldier of Christ he or she is being sent to the world to proclaim the word and to be a soldier of Christ to defend Christ at all cost even at the point of death that is why significantly the bishop you know gives a slight blow on the cheek to the candidate being confirmed that for sure the candidate has become the soldier of Christ and as a soldier of Christ is being sent to the world and be ready to defend Christ as a soldier even at the point of death mm. and also, the other thing is also that uh, that candidate also must be ready to endure pain for the sake of Christ yes tukisalia kwenye sakramenti ya kipaimara tukiangalia uh, kwenye sakramenti ya kipaimara uh, au kanisa katoliki kuna sakramenti saba je tofauti na sakramenti nyingine ni ipi ya hii ya kipaimara kwa sababu mara nyingi tunaona watu wanapokea sakramenti ya kipaimara mbali na kuna sakramenti saba uh, asante sana kuna sakramenti saba kanisani katoliki sakramenti ya kipaimara tunaidhamini sana maana yake ndio moja wapo za sakramenti za shina la imani. Sakramenti za shina la imani ziko tatu, ubatizo, kipaimara na ikarisi takatifu. Kabla Mkristo hajapokea sakramenti ya kipaimara, bado hajakuwa askari kamili wa Yesu Kristo. Na ndio maana kanisa Katoliki, kanisa mama inahimiza sana wakristo waweze kupokea sakramenti hii ya kipekee ya kipaimara ili waweze kupokea ili waweze kuwa maskari wa Yesu Kristo. Na pia Roho Mtakatifu walioipokea siku ya ubatizo inaimarishwa na sakramenti hii ya kipaimara kwa namna ya kipekee. Na tuangalie bado imetajwa kuwa siku hii ya leo bado baba askofu ataibariki sanamu pale labda utueleze kidogo kuhusu hiyo. Ya baba askofu hata bariki sanamu ila atabariki image eh, ya divine mercy na pia ya mama our lady of Fatima huo ni ishara tosha kwamba kama wakatoliki mama wa Lady of Fatima ni mama wetu anazidi kutuombea kwa mwana wake Yesu Kristo na pia divine mercy ni ishara tosha kwamba kama wa Kristo tunadhamini wito mbalimbali kanisani na pia kupitia kwa hayo ambayo tunaziona 
zinatulekeza imani yetu kwa Kristo mwenyewe na Mungu Baba mwenyezi. Hmm. Na tuangalie bado tukisalia kwenye imani ya kanisa katoliki ambapo baada ya kupata sakramenti ya kipaimara tuangalie maisha ya vijana hasa vijana wanajihusisha katika mambo mengi dawa za kulevya inaendelea kukitiri labda sakramenti ya kipaimara ama baada ya kupata sakramenti hii inasaidia kivipi vijana kuwa katika maisha ya imani Ya kusema kweli ni jambo wazi dhahiri wazi ya kwamba kuna mambo za madawa mambo za you know drug abuse zimeingia sana katika jamii na hilo ni jambo ambalo hatuwezi kuificha tunahimiza vijana baada ya kupokea sakramenti ya kipaimara ili roho mtakatifu wanaoumarishwa siku hii ya kipaimara iweze kuwasaidia iweze kuwapea muongozo na iweze kuwaleta kwa, kwa leta karibu na Mungu karibu na baba karibu na roho mtakatifu karibu na Mungu baba mwenyezi na karibu na Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu kipaimara sakramenti hii pia itawezesha hao vijana wetu ili waweze kuwa na imani zaidi kanisani manake sasa wamekuwa askari wa Yesu na kama askari wa Yesu wataweza kupigania na hayo mambo ya madawa na hayo mambo ya drug abuse manake sasa kweli roho mtakatifu wa Mungu ambaye ni Mungu kweli kwa Mungu kweli ataweza kuongoza na kuelekeza kwa njia inayostahili kwa njia bora kanisani hmm tuangalie kwenye siku hii ni siku ya kifamilia vile vile labda siku hii kama hii inasaidia familia kivipi tuangalie hasa hapa nchini gharama ya maisha inaenda kupanda familia inapambana na mambo mengi labda shere kama hii inasaidia familia vipi shere kama hii pia inasaidia familia kuweze kuwa pamoja kuomba kuombea nchi kuombea viongozi wa nchi waweze kuelekeza nchi tukufu ya Kenya kwa njia ambayo inapendeza Mwenyezi Mungu Mungu aweze kusaidia pia viongozi wetu wa serikali pia viongozi wetu wa kanisa ili waweze kuishi na umoja na amani. Viongozi wetu wa serikali wanapokuwa na Roho Mtakatifu wa Mungu anapoongoza kwa njia ya busara, kwa njia ya haki na kwa njia ya usawa wataweza kuvalu raia wa kawaida mwananchi wa kawaida na kweli kwa njia ya kipekee Mungu ataonyesha njia bora ya kusaidia mwananchi wa kawaida kukulingana na gharama ya maisha pia iweze kuwa chini ambao mwananchi wa kawaida anaweza kuhudumu hiyo maisha. Asante. Na pia mwezi wa kumi kanisa Katoliki lina waenzi watakatifu pia ni mwezi wa rozari takatifu. Labda kuna mikakati yote imewekwa na kanisa lenu. Um, ya pia hapa kanisani asante sana. Mwezi wa kumi ni kwa njia ya kipekee mwezi wa Zorazari. Tunakuja pamoja kusali Zorazari takatifu kwa familia, kwa jumuiya na vikundi mbalimbali vya kanisa. Rozari takatifu pia ni njia bora sana ya kueneza injili takatifu kwa familia, kwa jumuiya na kwa kanisa kwa jumla. Wakati wa kipaimara labda kuna kitu kingine ungependa kuona hatutakubalishwa kujongea Malizia ningesema tu ya kwamba watu waweze kuvalu familia watu waweze kudhamini familia maana familia ndio nguzo ya maisha familia ndio kanisa ndogo tuanze pale familia kusali tuende kwa jumuiya ndogo ndogo tusali pamoja na tukuje kanisani pia tujumuike pamoja kama wa Kristo tunaposali pamoja kama familia kweli Mungu yumo ndani mwetu na tunaanza kushinda mambo yote ambayo naweza kuonekana magumu sana katika maisha Mungu atatusaidia na yawe rais katika maisha yetu ya Ukristo Shukran. Na tukumbuka tumekitakambi kwenye parokia ya mtakatifu au Holy Trinity utatu mtakatifu kwenye eneo la Buruguru kwenye Jimbo Kuu la Nairobi na ni siku ya kifamilia pamoja na wakadeti waliwaandaliwa takriban 565 wanapokea sakramenti ya kipaimara na kumbuka sakramenti ya kipaimara ni baadhi ya sakramenti saba kwenye kanisa katoliki na pia mbali na hayo baba mtakatifu ataweza kuibariki goroto ya mtakatifu Fatima pamoja na divine mercy alivyotuelezea mwalimu wa katikista kwenye parokia hii na kumbuka pia ni siku ya familia ya dekania ya makadi dara nado undo ana parokia nane kutoka jimbo kuu la Nairobi ikiwa pamoja na parokia hii ya utatu mtakatifu eneo la Buruburu lakini tunaye hapa pia mzazi wa watoto wanaopokea kipaimara siku ya leo anajitambulisha na anatuelezea kuwa je usimamo wa wazazi katika maisha ya watoto kwenye imani ni ipi na wazazi wanachangia kipipi katika kukua kwa watoto wao kwenye 
imani na hasa uh, wakati kama huu ambapo wanapokea sakramenti ya kipaimara tunaungana naye mzazi hapa uh, na labda anajitambulisha na anatuelezea msimamo wa wazazi katika maisha ya watoto habari yako mam naomba ujitambulishe Salama sana jina langu ni Catherine Mwedhia Mutuko uh, mimi ndio nimechaguliwa siku ya leo kuweza kuwa msimamishi uh, godfather to the all, to all the candidates that are being confirmed today yes labda tuangalie kwenye kanisa katoliki kuna sakramenti mbalimbali na pia kuna kikundi mbalimbali cha watoto wadogo kama PMC na kuna Sunday school labda msimamo ama mchango ya wazazi ni ipi katika maisha ya watoto ya imani uh, wakati huu it is a time that uh, the parent is required to do quite a lot because there are so many things that are distracting our young children and uh, one of them is the fact that they are not able to come to church to learn about the things of church and the things of God on their own volition. So, mzazi yako na jukumukubwa sana, manake anaitaji kuafuatilia wale watoto. Mara kwa mara kwa kumbusha kwamba wanatekana kwenda kanisani kwa ajili ya masomo. Na ato wakati mwingine kuweza kupata nafasi kutembea na wao adi kuwapeleka kwa kanisa na pia kuongea na walimu na wanao wafundisha ili kwamba uweze kuona kweli wameingia kwa kanisa wameingia kwa mafundisho na ni yapi ambao wanapokea hata wanaporejea nyumbani pia ni jukumu la sisi wazazi kuweza kufuata ni nini wamefundishwa na kupalilia hili waweze pia kuyashika madili ya kanisa na labda kuna wazazi hawa wakubali wazazi wao kujiunga na kikundi ama kupata hata sakramenti ujumbe wako kwa wazazi ni e, ujumbe wangu kwa wazazi kwa wakati huu ni kuwaimiza tu na kuatia moyo na kuambia uh, unless tujitolee na tu watoe watoto wetu na tuwapatie sababu za kuweza kuwa kujiunga na vikundi vya kanisa kama PMC na the young uh, Catholic Christian ah watoto wengi watapotea na sisi wazazi tutapoteza na kanisa kwa jumla itapoteza yes na tuangalie kuna wajua kuna synodi inaendelea huko Vatican samani wajua sin, synodi inayoendelea huko Vatican Ah uh, sija nimeisikia tu lakini sijaielewa. Ah baba mtakatifu anatarajia kuwapa yani amewapa wanawake nafasi katika kanisa labda ni maoni yake. Na tunaye pia katikista ya wanaume kwa sasa labda we, eh, maoni yako ni Maoni yangu ni kwamba vile baba mtakatifu anaonelea sisi wote tumeitwa na Mungu kumtumikia iwe ni jinsia ya kike ama jinsia ya kiume iwapo mtu amekamilika kwa yale maadili ya kanisa katoliki amepokea sakramenti zote na amejitoa na ako na nafasi ile ni vizuri tuweze kujitolelea ili tuweze kuvutenda kazi ya Mungu na kumtumikia Mungu yes angalie kwenye maisha sasa watoto wanajihusisha kwenye mambo mengi dawa za kulevya labda msimamo ya wazazi ni ipi uh, wakati usio kama kitambo ambapo tulikuwa na wale extended families ambao walikuwa wanapata nafasi ya kusaidia maadili na malezi ya watoto sasa hivi wazazi wengi wameshikana sana kwa ajili ya kazi na watoto wakawa ni kama wako peke yao. Sisi nami kama mama ningetaka kuatia wazazi wenzangu moyo na kuwapa changamoto ingawaje tumeshikana sana tunahitajika tuchenge nafasi ya kuweza kufuata watoto wetu na kuweza kuwawe, kuwaweka kwa maadili ya kanisa na kuwapeleka kwa kanisa ili waweze kupata mafunzo mema ambayo itawasaidia kwa maisha yao ya kesho. Mm. Na labda matarajio yako ni yapi baada ya mtoto yako kupata sakramenti kutoka leo? 
Uh, Nashukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu ya siku ya leo. Mimi kama mama nina watoto wawili wangu kuzaa ambao wanapokea sacrament ya confirmation. Na kwangu nashukuru Mungu kabisa. Na ya, la pili ni seme kwamba nina jukumu maana wameanza katika kuingia kwa mambo ya kanisa. Ni jukumu langu kupalilia ile imani, kuafuatilia kuwapeleka kwa kanisa kuwawekwa kwa matumizi na kwa kazi ya kanisa ili waweze kushika kazi za Mungu katika kutumika pale kwa kanisa ndipo sa kanisa ya keso ni wao watasimama na eh. pia ni siku ya kifamilia kwenye dekani yenu na kwako siku ya kifamilia inamaanisha nini siku ya familia ni siku muhimu maana ndio siku tunakuja pamoja tunajiangalia mbele ya kioo yake Mwenyezi Mungu tunaona sababu zake Mwenyezi Mungu kutuumba na kutuweka pamoja kama jamii ndio wakati tunaona zawadi ya kipekee ambayo Mungu ametujalia maana niko na mume wangu hapa niko na watoto wangu hapa zote tunajumuika katika kumtukuza Mungu na kujiweka haki mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu ni wakati mwema na wakati mzuri sana kwa jamii Nikushukuru Mungu na kutia kila mmoja wetu nguvu uh, tujikaze kwa mambo ya Mungu ni mambo muhimu na tuweze kuelekeza watoto wetu katika kumtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu. Hmm. Shukran. Ni mama ya mtoto ambaye anapokea sacrament ya kipaimara kwenye parokia hii na kumbuka alisema kwamba ni mchango ya wazazi katika maisha ya watoto ni kwamba anafaa kuhakikisha watoto wamepata mafunzo, watoto wanaenda mafunzo na kila wakati na tunaye hapa pia mtoto anatuelezea jina lake na anatuelezea hasa anaisi kivipi siku ya leo habari uh, yako Nami naitwa Gloria Melissa Kalondu na kwa hii parokia namshukuru Mungu kwa kutuamsha siku ya leo kwani hii siku ilikuwa imegojoa kwa hamu na gamu kwa watu wengi. Labda ni umeanza mafunzo lini? Um, nilianza mafunzo 2022. Um, na leo ndo namaliza. Na kwenye mafunzo labda ni nini umefunzwa? Tumefunzwa uh, aina za sakramenti, kuna ba uh, sakramenti ya kubatizwa na Eucharist takatifu. Pia tumefunzwa uh, maombi, uh, different types of devotions na pia tuka, tumeelezwa um, ma saints yeah. na yale ulio yafunza ama mlio yafunzwa unatarajia vipi kuwasaidia ama kuchilia manani um, Um, kwangu ni ya kwamba um, nimekuwa nikisikiliza mwalimu na nawaomba pia wale ambao wanaendelea kusoma mafunzo yao uh, yani first holy communion wawe na na yani motisha na wazazi wao wasaidie ku, kuendelea mpaka wamalize um, holy communion ya pili ndio na baada ya kupa labda ni nini unatarajia leo kwenye sacrament ya kipaimara um, kwa siku ya leo natarajia kupokea sacrament takatifu kupakwa mafuta ya chrism oil na pia kushangiliwa na watu wengi labda kuna wenzako ulianza masomo nao lakini hawakuweza kufikisha siku ya leo ujumbe wako kwa wale ni ipi Um, naomba tu waendelee kwe, kusoma um, na wa, wa, watie motisha kwani um, gagana upo wa hali walimkavu la shati uname ili ndo ufike mbunguni wa kitanda saa na waomba waendelee kwani watamaliza wakikuwa na motisha na wazazi wako wasaidia pia kuwa na imani kwa Mungu ndio Um, na washukuru wazazi wangu kwani walinisaidia katika kumaliza hii 
um, second holy communion na pia na wa na waomba wale ambao wanaanza wa kuwa na, na imani kwa Mungu ndio shukran ni mtoto wa anayepokea sakramenti ya kifaimara kwenye kanisa hili ambaye amesema kuwa alianza mafunzo yake mwaka wa mbili kama mtoto wa kupata sakramenti kama njia moja ya kupata sakramenti ya kifaimara na kumbuka tulivyosema hapo awali kwenye kanisa katoliki kuna sakramenti saba sakramenti ya ubatizo kuna sakramenti ya uh, kifaimara na pia kuna sakramenti ya kutubu na nyingine nyingi na tu livyo sema hapo awali ni siku ya kifamilia ya e, parokia hii ya utatu mtakatifu uh, kwenye dekania ya makadara na kumbuka dekania ya makadara inaundwa na parokia nane ikiwa moja wapo na kiongozi wa ibada atakuwa askofu uh, David Kamau ambaye ni askofu msaidizi wa jimbo kuu la Nairobi askofu bado hajawasili tunaendelea kumngoja jina langu ni Arbe Bonaya kwaya inaendelea kutuburudisha Mwanga wetu sote nendo la wana Mwanga nile lo na hende ya pande sote nendo la soga mbele
Na hii Capuchin TV ni chombo kizuri sana na chombo hiki kazi yake ni evangelization. Kwa hivyo ningeomba mufanya mambo matatu. Jambo la kwanza tafadhali wewe enda uangalie Capuchin TV kuna mambo mazuri sana, kuna maombi kuna watoto wanafanya mambo mazuri, kuna mafundisho, kuna misa takatifu kila siku. Kwa hivyo tafadhali ukipata nafasi utazane, utazame kapu chin TV. Jambo la pili, uwaombe kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya. Manake ndiyo TV ya kipekee ya Catholic na mabishop wanaisupport kabisa, manake inafanya kazi mzuri. Kama leo kama kuna watu wako Italy wangependa kuangalia what is happening leo wangepata nafasi. Kwa hivyo muwaombe sana kwa hiyo kazi nzuri ambao wanafanya na jambo la tatu mwa support. Wewe wana paybill number watumie hata ni kama ni shilingi mbili. Kwa hivyo tafadhali mwa support mwatumie kitu kidogo kwa paybill number na mambo hayo ili waweze kuendelea na hiyo kazi. Kwa hivyo asatendi father kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya. Tuendelee kufanya kazi paybill number 5106678 account name Caps TV. Na hii Capuchin TV ni chombo kizuri sana na chombo hiki kazi yake ni evangelization kwa hivyo ningeomba mufanya mambo matatu jambo la kwanza tafadhali wewe enda uangalie Capuchin TV kuna mambo mazuri sana kuna maombi kuna watoto wanafanya mambo mazuri kuna mafundisho kuna misa takatifu kila siku kwa hivyo tafadhali ukipata nafasi utazane utazame kapu chin TV. Jambo la pili uwaombe kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo Abel number Caps TV.
Oh, no. 
Church. Now I invite the hosting Harris Priest to come forward, please, so that we can welcome us. Welcome, Father. Your Lordship, Bishop David Kamau, the Auxiliary Bishop of Nairobi, a Decano Wetu, Father George, and Aibu Wake, Father Dominic, Dugu Mapadri, Turiopo Hapa, Mashemashi Wetu, Watawa Kike na Kiume, Makadidata Mbawa na Pokea, uh, Sacramenti ya Kipaimara, Hi Leo, Wa Kristu Wote Kwa Jumla, Tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati naomba nafasi hii kwa ajili ya kipekee kuwakaribisha nyinyi wote katika sherehe za dekania ya makadara dekania ambayo toa mwezi mtakatifu Teresa wa Afila na hii leo tukiwa na manda a united family strong in faith and servant leadership journey together as one people of God tuweze kwa jia kipekee kuendelea na kumkaribisha Mungu katika makao yetu tuna furaha kuwa nanyi nyinyi wote katika parokia zetu nane katika dekania hii na tuna waomba mfurahie na sisi wote tuweze kusherehekea kwa pamoja siku yetu ya dekania makadara kwa jia kipekee naomba kumkaribisha sasa anayetuelekeza katika ibada hii baba askofu David Kamau ili aweze kutuelekeza tupigie makofi tafadhali kwa jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu ni ima ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristu na upendo wa Mungu Baba na ushirika wa Mtakatifu viwe nanyi nyote. Na sasa ndugu zangu tukilia bi zetu ili tupate kustahilishwa kuadhimisha mafumbo na takatifu. Na muungamia Mungu Mwenyezi ndugu zangu kwani nimekosa mwanzo kwa maneno kwa mtendo nimekotokimika wajibu nimekosa mimi nimekosa mimi nimekosa sana ndio maana nimekosa maneno ya Mungu ni kweli ni malaika na watakatifu wote na ndugu zangu ni ombe ni kwa Bwana Mungu mwenyezi atumia samaha za bizetu atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele
Mwenyezi na Rahimu. Ninakuomba tujalie hilo mtakatifu anayekuja awe radhi kutufanya kuwa hekalu la utukufu wake kwa kuishi ndani yetu. Kwa jina bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao anayeishi na kutana naye katika mwenye mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele. ka kitabu cha matendo ya mitume Ndugu zangu wana wa ukoo wa Abrahamu nanyi wote wacha Mungu kwetu sisi neno la wokovu huo limepelekwa Kwa maana wakazi wa Yerusalemu na wakuu wao hawakumtambua yeye lakini kwa hukumu yao wameyatekeleza maneno ya manabii yanayosomwa hadharani kila sabato. Ijapokuwa hawakuona kisa kistahilicho kifo, walimuomba Pilato auawe, walipokwishatimiza yote yaliyoaguliwa juu yake katika maandiko, walimteremsha katika mti wa msalaba wakamweka kaburini. Lakini Mungu amemfufua katika wafu 
akaonekana siku nyingi kwa wale waliofuatana naye kutoka Galilaya mpaka Yerusalemu na wafuasi wake ni mashahidi wake sasa mbele ya watu hivyo sisi tunatangaza habari njema ya ahadi waliopewa mababu ahadi hiyo Mungu ametutekelezea sisi watoto wao kwa kumfufua Yesu katika wafu kama ilivyoandikwa katika Zaburi ya pili yani wewe ndiwe mwanangu leo nimekuzaa neno la Bwana Zaburi ya kuitikizana E Bwana peleka roho yako na nchi itaumbwa tena E Bwana peleka roho yako na nchi itaumbwa upya E Bwana peleka roho yako na nchi itaumbwa upya
nitamwimbia Bwana maisha yangu yote nitamwimbia Mungu wangu zaburi wakati wote ningali hai tafakari yangu na impendeze Mungu mtakatifu Paulo kwa Korinto Ndugu vipaji vya roho ni mbalimbali mbali, lakini roho ni mmoja Kuna huduma mbalimbali mbali, lakini Bwana ni mmoja Kuna matendo mbalimbali mbali, lakini Mungu ni mmoja atendaye yote katika wote kila mmoja hupewa ufunuo wa roho kwa manufaa ya wote. Basi, mmoja hupewa na roho neno la hekima, mwingine neno la elimu. Kama roho huyo huyo anavyopenda. Tena, mwingine hupewa imani katika roho huyo huyo na mwingine kipaji cha kuponya wagonjwa katika roho huyo huyo na mwingine kipaji cha kufanya miujiza mwingine unabii mwingine kupambanua vipaji vya roho mwingine kusema lugha za kiroho na mwingine kufafanua lugha hizo lakini ni roho huyo mmoja anayetenda hayo yote akimgawia kila mmoja majaliwa kama anavyopenda Kristu ni kama mwili mwili ni mmoja wenye viungo vingi lakini viungo vyote vya mwili huo ijapo ni vingi Huunda mwili mmoja. Kwa maana sisi sote tumebatizwa kwa roho mmoja kuwa mwili mmoja bila tofauti baina ya Wayahudi na Wagiriki au baina ya watumwa na watuhuru. Nasi sote tumenyweshwa roho mmoja. Neno la Bwana.
somo la injili takatifu ilivyoandikwa na Yohane Jioni ya siku ile ya kwanza ya Juma alikuja Yesu akasimama katikati ingawa milango ya chumba walimokaa wanafunzi ilikuwa imefungwa kwa kuogopa Wayahudi akawaambia Amani iwe nanyi Baada ya maneno hayo akawaonyesha mikono yake na ubavu wake wafuasi wakafurai walipomuona Bwana Yesu akawaambia mara ya pili Amani iwe nanyi Kama baba alivyonituma mimi nami nawatuma ninyi Baada ya maneno hayo akawapulizia akawaambia Okeeni Roho mtakatifu Wote mtakaoondolea dhambi wameondolewa Wote mtakaowafungia dhambi wamefungiwa Injili ya Bwana the hosting priest, parish priest, will present the candidates to the bishop as we kindly and continue with the liturgy of the day. Welcome, Father. The candidates to receive the sacrament of confirmation kindly start. Your Lordship, St. Teresa of Avila Makadara Dina represent this candidate for the sacrament of confirmation. Those who know them judge them to be sincere in their desire. They have heard the word of Christ in the assembly of the church and have attempted to shape their conduct accordingly. They have shared in the fellowship and prayer of their brothers and sisters now I wish to inform you and all here present of our community's decision to call them for confirmation. Uh, the church. The church asked that its members be suitably prepared for the sacraments, so that they may receive the grace of God freely and knowingly. Have these candidates been informed and instructed? They have participated in our community's process of formation and have, uh, have received appropriate catechesis. We feel they are ready for confirmation. So, my dear candidates, do you understand what this second means to you and to your sharing in the life and the mission of the church. We do. Then in the name of Jesus Christ and his church, I accept you and pray that the sacrament which you are about to receive will strengthen your faith and assist the growth of God's kingdom 
among us. You can kindly now sit and we listen to the homily and the word of wisdom from our Lordship. Welcome. So Christo. And God is good. And all the time. Mungu ni mwema. Na kila wakati. Jabla kwanza ningetaka kuwashukuru akina mama kwa kunisubiri pale. Kunisindikisha. Lakini wazee walikuwa pale mlangoni pale pale kabisa. Kwa hiyo Nila kwa shukuru sana sana sana. Na mama ni mwambie wako mlipo kwa unaimba. Nilikuwa nikijisikia sana. <laughs> Basi la pili ni kuomba msamahani kwa ni tulikuwa tu tuanze hii sherehe saa ine. Lakini siku ya leo sikopo ameshelewa, si ndio eh? Kwa hiyo nataka kuomba msamaha. Lakini Yesu sio kushelewa lakini tulikuwa na maombi huko junior seminary kuombea candidates wale wanafanya mtihani kwa seminari lakini kwa sababu nilikuwa najua nitakuja hapa hata ingawa nilikuwa huko sehemu moja ilikuwa huko na ingina wapi kwa hivyo nikasema hata wote sasa wanafanya mtihani wako hapa wa strategy na form 4 nikiwa huko nilikuwa nawakumbuka kwa hivyo niliwaombea Kwa hivyo hata ingawa nilikuwa huko nilifanya kazi hapo na remote. Kwa hivyo nilikuwa nikiwaombea wale ambao watafanya mtihani wa study 8 na na, na form 4. Basi wakisu wa penzi siku ya leo siku muhimu sana ni kama dinali mnasherekea family day. Na kwa hivyo nataka kusema happy family day. Kwa mtu akiwa na, na husumi anjue sasa hasharikii siku ya family day uh, na kwa hivyo jabla kwanza ni family day na pia naona mama hapa na wazee wa kesho na wa sasa nipamba sana kupokea sakramenti ya kipaimara yaani kupokea roho mtakatifu kwanza family day tunajua family sisi wote tuko tumetoka katika familia lakini swali ukiulizwa swali ni hili ukiulizwa ni family gani unaweza linganisha na family yako yaani unaweza kuchukua hii family kama mfano wa familia yako. Unajua wakati watu wakitaka kujaga kanisa, wanaskwanza wanasukua kula kila mahali. Wakiangalia wanata, wanajenga watajaga kanisa ina gani? Wachukua mfano wa kanisa. Na sasa wewe unataka kujua familia yako, unaweza kusunguka katika familia zote, uone ni familia gani unaweza kulinganisha na familia yako. Lakini ukiangalia kila family kuna shida. There is always black good in any family. Ni kweli? Hakuna familia isiyo na shida. Shida gani na mtu? Kwa hivyo ni familia moja tu tunaweza kuchukua mfano. Kuna familia moja na ya pili. Familia ya kwanza ni Mungu mwenyewe, ni familia ya Mungu mwenyewe. Kama tujuavyo maisha ya Mungu ni maisha ya familia. Ni maisha ya Mungu Baba Mungu mwana na Mungu roho mtakatifu that's a community a community of God na kwa hivyo tunachukua sasa hiyo familia ya Mungu kama mfano wa familia zetu na katika hii familia wote ni sawa hakuna mdogo hakuna mkubwa they are all equal father son and holy spirit equals to one Na one equals to three. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Wote ni kitu moja. Na sisi kama binadamu. 
familia zetu ni matunda ya familia ya Mungu. Na ikiwa family, Mungu anaishi katika maisha ya familia na sisi ni matunda ya familia ya Mungu. Basi inamaanisha basi hata sisi lazima tuishi katika maisha ya familia. Kwani sisi ni matunda ya familia ya Mungu. Na ndio maana maana yake kuna mtu mmoja alisema lazima mtu aishi katika familia na akasema whoever does not live in a community in society is either a beast or a god na sikisio binadamu kwa hivyo binadamu lazima aishi katika maisha ya familia sasa wewe ukiwa unaishi peke yako <laughs> ujue uko wapi ujue uko wapi na jumuiya jumuiya ni matokeo ya familia zetu nyumbani na kanisa ni matokeo ya jumuiya na diocese ni matokeo ya parokia na dinari na utatu familia ya Mungu huganishwa pamoja na upendo upendo wa roho mtakatifu upendo wa mtakatifu familia ya pili nasikuwa mfano wake ni familia ya Nazareti ya Yesu Maria na na Yosefu pia tukaangalia katika hao maisha ya familia ya binadamu sasa haikuwa rahisi lakini kulikuwa na upendo na kauli juafio walikuwa maskini lakini hata alikuwa maskini tunachukua familia yao kama mfano wa familia zetu na kulikuwa na shida nyingi sana Maria alikuwa na shida sana Yosefu walikuwa na shida sana kwa huyu mtoto na huyu mtoto lakini kwa sababu walikuwa na roho mtakatifu walikuwa na Mungu kati yao walikuwa na furaha sikio mfano kwa ufupi Maria alipokuwa na huyu kijana lakini Maria alikuwa msichana kidogo Ma- Yosefu alikuwa mzee kidogo eh? walisema watawana watakaa pamoja na walikuwa wamejitalisha kuunga harusi lakini kabla ya siku ya harusi Maria akaonekana eh? akaingiliwa na malaika akaingiliwa na Mungu na Mungu akamwambia sasa yule mpango wako weka kando mimi nakuchagua sasa wewe utakuwa ma- nani mama mama wa Mungu Maria alikuwa kwa kwanza auliza hii itawezekanaje na mimi ninao Yosefu lakini sio jijui bwana malaika akamwambia roho mtakatifu utafanya kazi Maria kwa kutii akasema nimekubali mimi mjakazi wa Mungu lakini alijua akipatikana katika hali hiyo atauawa na mawe kwa hivyo alikuwa na shida msaba Maria ndiye alikuwa kwanza kubeba kubeba msaraba alijua atauawa naye Yosefu <laughs> alikuwa anataka kuona kabla akuwa hapa mmoja akaona huyu <laughs> mambo yamebadilika na baruli eh. Maria Yosefu alikuwa na, na wasiwasi ni tafanya nini sasa naye akatokewa na malaika Yosefu siogope kuchukua huyu kwa sababu hii ni kazi ya roho mtakatifu Maria akajua Mungu anapenda anataka nini katika maisha yake Yosefu akajua Mungu anataka nini na kwa hivyo kwa kujua mapenzi ya Mungu kwa kujitoa wakakaa pamoja na wakamlinda Kristo na tukiangalia sana kuna mengi mashida nyingi sana hao walipata mpaka wakawa unajua Herodi alitaka kumua mtoto malaika akamtokea Yosefu Yosefu angalia mtoto sasa wawa mkibie muenda wapi misi alikuwa akawa mkibizi hakuna watu wana shida kuliko wakibizi 
huko Misri. Lakini hata ingawa kulikuwa na shida katika familia kwa sababu ya kujitolea na kujua Mungu anataka wafanye nini walikuwa watu walikuwa na furaha lakini walikuwa na misalaba. Na kwa hivyo tunaposherekea siku ya leo ya family day basi tushukue mfano wa utatu mtakatifu na familia takatifu ya Yesu Maria na Yosefu katika familia zetu walikuwa na misalaba tuna misalaba katika familia yetu familia zetu hakuna familia haina msalaba hakuna usiseme ati kwa kuna msalaba huli kwa mwingine kuna shida lakini tutafute mapenzi ya Mungu mapenzi ya Mungu na tutafuta mapenzi ya Mungu na tufuate mapenzi ya Mungu na sio rahisi basi hata si familia zetu za kuwa na furaha na kujua mapenzi ya Mungu roho mtakatifu na leo tunao watu tunapatia sakramenti ya kipaimara baba watapata roho mtakatifu na tupokuwa tunaongea na wanafunzi huko seminari najua hapa kuna wanafunzi na ningetaka pia kuongea na hao juu ya mtihani unaweza kujua kusoma vizuri kusoma vizuri lakini mtihani ukiingia unajaswa na uoga na uoga na mtu akiwa na uoga anaweza pita mtihani wewe jua utafanya na hiyo hiyo zazi ni kawaida ya wanafunzi kuna wakati mwingine mmoja nikiwa mwalimu niko seminari na kuna kadi mwingine kulikuwa wakati wa mtihani huyu <laughs> mwanamuzi mmoja alikuwa wengi walipo walipoona kuna mtihani sasa umekaribia uoga ukaingia sasa na sio tu uoga one, one student became blind hakuona tena ukubali usikubali akawa blind kwa sababu ya nini na sio kuwa blind ati kujifanya akawa blind na akatafutiwa kijiti ya kuenda nayo na sio kwa sababu alikuwa mgonjwa ni kwa sababu ya uoga wa nini mimi kamchukua nikampeleka wakati nilikuwa huko mabanga sebine nikamchukua nikampeleka St Elizabeth Hospital mkuu kampeleka huko nambia sasa wewe naona sasa wewe ni mgonjwa huwezi kuona ka hapa akaraswa huko mtihani ulipokwisha akarudi <laughs> na sio tu kurudi akaenda kucheza mpira kwa nini kwa sababu ya nini ya uoga sasa sasa tunaombea wale wanafanya mtihani sasa wajazo roho mtakatifu eh ule uoga afanye nini uishe na sio utu uoga uishe lakini wakumbuke wakumbuke yote wamesoma yote wamesoma na kuandika na kuweka kwa karatasi na kila mmoja wetu ameumba na ufana na uso wa Mungu na Mungu anampatia kazi ya kufanya kila mmoja wetu we have all a duty a responsibility given by god lakini kujua ile kazi Mungu ametupatia kujua kazi yako kujua maana ya maisha yako na kuchagua kufanya na kujua mapenzi ya Mungu tunahitaji roho mtakatifu tunahitaji sala tunahitaji kuomba kuomba unaweza kuwa na kila kitu unaweza kuwa mkali kama kama simba lakini inside you you are empty huna chochote huna chochote unaweza kuwa na nyumba nzuri gari zuri lakini inside you you are what kwa sababu hakuna roho mtakatifu hakuna Mungu kwa nini unafikiria wale wanajinyonga those who are committing suicide 
unafikia na wala maskini unafikia na wala maskini wala wanafanya kazi ya nini ya ya, uwa, ya mawe ah hawana nafasi hawana nafasi ya kufikiria mama ni wewe 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 una, una mali kwa sababu inside you you are empty na basi tunaweza kujazwa maisha yetu yanaweza kuwa na maana tukiwa na roho mtakatifu mtakatifu unakumbuka Yesu Kristo alipo kwa kepa mbinguni alimwambia wanafunzi mlinde Yerusalemu na mimi nikienda nitamtumia roho mtakatifu atawakumbusha yote niliwafundisha atawakutia nguvu ya kufanya kazi mawapatia na basi wanafunzi wanapofanya mtihani kuchagua wataandika wani watafanya nini hapo ndio tunaombea waongoze na roho utakatifu ninyi maisha ya familia mzee kujua kazi yake katika familia tunakuombea sasa wewe upate roho mtakatifu mama upate roho mtakatifu kwa sababu bila huyo roho mtakatifu bila kuongozwa na Mungu tutakubatiza Bwana muhurumie because there is that emptiness emptiness unasikia kitu cha loneliness upweke upweke unapatikana kwa sababu ya ukosa maisha ya Mungu ndani yetu and today kuna ugonjwa wa kansa wa covid HIV watu wanakufa lakini watu wanakufa zaidi kwa sababu ya upweke because of loneliness because of emptiness hakuna maisha ya Mungu hata mimi naweza kufanya kazi ya Mungu na nguvu sana na mwishowe am what empty kuingia kanisani sio kuja kusema wewe you, you are not lonely no that you are not lonely no wakati ambapo mbaba mtakatifu i think alitembea huko island na huko kuna pande moja alifanya kazi sana vijana eh youth it was a youth day babi wakati wa eucharist congress 1985 nilikuwa chapel nilikuwa inchaji wa youth mimi mwenyewe na nilikuwa nilifanya kazi 24 hours 25 wale walikuwa huko lakini upadri baada ya kufanya kazi yote watu walikula walikuwa wakifikiria atakuwa monsenior au atakuwa askofu sijui walikuwa walikifikia mimi nitakuwa nani lakini huyo padri baada ya baptism kwenda alikomiti suicide alikomiti suicide baada ya kufanya hiyo kazi because inside the was emptiness kuna parokia moja hapa Nairobi sasa kusema ni gani treasure wa kanisa akafungia watoto nyumba aita na yeye moja baada ya kujichoma huko ndani na ni treasure wa wani wa nini na hiyo sio project ni ukweli eh kama unataka kujua niita sasa nitakado nitakwambia kwa hivyo sio unajua mapadre wana project nyingi sana <laughs> hii sio project huyu ni mtu ambaye alikuwa akitumia kanisa ni yeye alikuwa akiweka checkbook lakini nataka kufungia watoto ndani ya nyumba na kufanya nini because of emptiness kuna Mungu. Na kwa hivyo basi siku ya leo tunapao sherekea sakramenti ya kipaimara, sakramenti ya Roho Mtakatifu. Basi tuombe kila mmoja wetu akitoka hapa awe na Roho Mtakatifu. Kani mzee ajue <laughs> wajibu wake. Ajue kazi yake katika familia na uweze kujua mzee bila Roho Mtakatifu usijitegani wewe mwenyewe uwezi watu wanaweza kuona kama una, una furaha sana lakini bila bila maisha ya Mungu bila maisha ya Mungu 
hakuna furaha sio kusema hakutakuwa na msalaba Bikira la Maria Yesu Maria Yosefu walikuwa na msalaba hao wazazi wawili Yosefu na Maria walikipata walikipata siku moja walikuwa wakitaka kufukuzwa wa kijiji na wazee wa kijiji kwa nini kwa sababu Yesu Kristo akiwa mtoto alikuwa akicheza na watoto wengine kabili mimi mnacheza mtoto mmoja akaongozwa kwa nyumba akafa watu wakasema alikuwa ana huyu kijana wa, wa Maria na Yosefu na huyu kijana lazima tujue vile tutafanya naye au lazima aondoke hapa hapo ndipo Kristo akiwa mtoto alitumia umungu wake akamwambia ni msema hiyo ni mimi nimebua huyu ni wewe tulikuona kasema sasa nitaamuka aseme ni alimbua akatumia umungu wake mtoto amuka useme ni alikuua mtoto akasimama hiyo tu mara moja Kristo kuna maongoni alifanya akitumia akitumia umungu wake kwa sababu wazazi wao walitaka kufukuzwa akasema ni aliyeangua kutoka juu the case was finished ndio si si na Kristo Kristo katika injili ya Yohane pale mwisho inasema Kristo alifanya mambo mengi lakini hajiadako kwa kitabu kwa hiyo siende kutafuta ni wapi eh hiyo ni yale Kristo alifanya mengi lakini haikuadikwa kwa nini lakini lakini John ame John amesema kuna mengi alifanya lakini haikuwa ni kwa kitabu useme na daganya eh basi kusema kujua wajibu wetu kujua kazi yetu katika maisha ya familia kujitolea kubeba misalaba yetu tunahitaji roho hiyo ndio maana tunakuja kanisani ndio maana tunapata sakramenti ya kipaimara tujaswe na roho mtakatifu kwa hivyo leo tuombe ni wote ambao sasa tuwapatia kipaimara na sio wote sisi wote kwa sababu kila mtu na msalaba wake kwa dhani ana msalaba kila mtu na msalaba wake tupate roho mtakatifu we feel we feel with the holy spirit tujazwe na roho mtakatifu ile emptiness iondoke tuwe na maisha ya Mungu ukiwa sasa unataka kwenda kujiweka kamba sasa tutakuombea wewe na wewe ujiombe uwe na roho mtakatifu hii maisha ya kujiweka kamba mzee kama unataka kuacha familia yako ukujua ujio wajibu wako wewe utakuombea sasa sio wewe ni hao wengine kwa hivyo tuombe ili tuwe na nguvu ya kuba msalaba yetu ya kila siku. Basi sasa tutaendelea na sakramenti ya kipaimara, sakramenti mtapokea nini? Roho. Vipaji saba vya roho. Mnazijua? Basi semeni sasa kama unajua tuone. Aha. Hebu tudia nitaanisikia vizuri. Tusikie vizuri. Na ah, wamesema yote. Kwa hiyo itapata mtapata sasa vibaje vya roho. Na kutoka sasa ninyi mtakuwa askari wa Kristu. Eh, mtapamba sasa mtakuwa askari mtaingia katika battalion battalion ya kufanyia kazi Mungu na kazi ni kufanya nini kulida kutetea na kueneza nini injiri kulinda kutetea na kueneza injiri na kwa hiyo kutoka sasa ninyi mtakuwa watu wazi katika nini imani kwa hivyo hata ukiwa mtoto Ujue sasa wewe ni nani? Ni mtu mzima. Mtu mzima sasa na umepatiwa kazi ya kufanya. Unao sababu ya maisha yako. Umepatiwa kazi na Mungu sasa. Usiseme huna kazi. Kazi umepatiwa sasa katika sakramenti ya kipaimara. Basi angalia mwenzako mwambie hivi sasa. Kutoka sasa. Kutoka sasa. Mambo ya utoto. Mambo ya utoto. 
uache. Ya yeah, umekuwa mtu mzima. Uache mambo ya utoto. Mambo ya utoto uache. Mambo ya utoto ni nini? Mambo ya utoto kula shukari ya mama ni Kula shukari ya mama ni nini? Kutuma ukakataa ni nini? Kupiga watoto wengine ni nini? Kukataa kusoma ni nini? Kuongea juu ya watu wengine ni nini? Kusengenya ni nini? Mutaacha hayo yote. Mtoto mtaacha. Mtoto mtaacha. Na kutokupendana ni nini? Mtakuwa mkipendana. Wala mtakuwa na mtakatifu. Unajua pengine tunaongea juu ya hao eh? Lakini wale hawapendani. Pengine ni sisi watu wazima. Hao wanapendana lakini sisi pengine hatupendani. Lakini si watoto tunatamita watoto sasa. Watu watu wanaongea juu watu wengine ni nani? Watu wale wengine wanaongea juu watu wengine ni nani? Eh? Watoto mnaongea wale wanaongea wale wanaongea juu ya watu wengi ni nani? Wao sio mimi nasema. Ate ni nani? Sasa basi siku ya leo tuwaombe tufanye nini tuwaombe tuwaombe nani wasifanye nini sasa mnazikia sasa eh kwa hivyo sisi wote basi tuombe sisi wote ili tujue maana maisha yetu na tutimize hii kazi mbatu ya Mungu ya kuhubiri injili kwa hivyo sasa tutaanza na sakamenti ya kibaimara mambo hayo tutafanya jambo la kwanza kama ishara ya uji wa Roho Mtakatifu ni kuwarekea nini mikono tukiwa mkono na mapadri hapa kuwekelea mikono alafu la pili kuwapaka mafuta ya ya kuweka muhuri kusema kwamba sinyi ni watu wa mwenyewe na mwenyewe ni Kristo eh kwa hivyo sakamenti ya kibaimara ni hao mambo hayo tutafanya kuwekelea mikono na kuwapaka mafuta ya ya Krisma. Kwa hivyo sasa zana sakamenti ya kibaimara watu wako kwanza muibe wimbo wa mtakatifu. Wimbo wa Roho Mtakatifu tusikie. Sasa tunapoendelea kutafakari hawa mafundisho mazuri kutoka kwa baba askofu ndio baadaye wote tutasimama kuweza kufanya upya na dhili zetu za ubatizo wanakwaya
kwa sababu sakramenti ya kipaimara hukamilisha sakramenti ya ubatizo sisi wote tasimama tuudie ahadi zetu za ubatizo Do you renounce Satan and all his works and empty promises? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, only Son, our Lord, who was, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered, dead, and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is at the hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the gift of life, who today, through the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a special way, just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the restoration of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. And we are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Dear beloved, let us pray to God, the Almighty Father, for this, his adopted sons and daughters already born again to eternal life in baptism, that he will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them to confirm them with his unbounded gifts and through his anointing, confirm them more free to Christ, the Son of God. Let us all pray for a brief silence so that before we lay our hands on them. Fathers, John, how about the family and me? Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you brought these your servants to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin, send upon them, O Lord the Holy Spirit. The Paraclete, give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety. Fill them with the spirit of fear of the Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen. For us now, we are to pray. Sasa, for our Catholic, as we we give water to Taketi, for our candidate, Muna Taketi, Ni Katini, for our Kimia, Harafu to Tatumia, or other for Tavio. Blessed Sacrament, Blessed Sacrament to step forward and they are God parents. Blessed Sacrament, step up with your photographer, then the bishop will anoint you with the oil of chrism and seal you with the Holy Spirit, then bid you with the peace and again you retaliate by saying and also with your spirit. Karibu. But that be saved with the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Okay, got you.
Jericho, St. Joseph Jericho, you follow the Blessed Sacrament. Then after Jericho, we'll go to Mary and Joseph, Shaori Moyo, in that order, kindly. They are God parents, make sure you are near. For the female, there is a lady, there has to be a lady. And for the males, a man should be there. Then display your confirmation name very well for bishops to be able to see it. Choir. <laughs>
Vicente Macandara. The boys, the boys are the ones who start. Oh, so 
so we start with the boys, the boys, so that uh, the girls will be the last. Eh? Boys, boys, or you make two lines. Eh? Wake up, wake up, for the Trinity, for the Trinity. Wake up, wake up, be behind their boys, fans. Once we are done with all LV, then for the Trinity, the last two. Meanwhile, Wale wa maombi ya kwa ubini. Sala za ubini, mwanze kujitarisha. Kina mama vile vile, CWA, you can be taking position after prayer of the medical is of patrol. As CMA continue to maintain order wherever you want. CMA continue, continue to maintain order, silence, you know, and uh, CWA, those who are concerned with the offertory, you can be preparing to take position. And also, those who are taking us for prayer of the faithful, you can be on standby. <laughs> we are going on well. Choir, continue to give us, to bless us with the songs related to the event. Thank you.
tunakaribia tunakaribia kumaliza sehemu hii muhimu sana iliyokuwa ya kutoa sacrament ya kifai mara tunakaribia kufika kikomo tunaendelea kushukuru kwa unyenyekevu wa askofu wetu kwa majitoleo yake kuweza kwa tunuku hawa wakabidati wetu wageni wa heshima wa siku ya leo sacrament ya kifai mara niweze tu kusema mambo hayajafika mwisho kwa kwa wakadidati wetu nyamazeni tafadhali ukimia ukimia sasa tunapoendelea kufika kikomo kutoa sacrament ya kitaba imara nilikuwa nasema kwa wakadidati wetu sio kikomo disclaimer sio mwi sio mwisho kupitia mapadri wetu walimu wa dini wazazi na hasa wasimamizi tuendelee kuwakumbusha hawa wakadidati hiyo zawadi muhimu ambao wamepokea katika kanisa waendelee kusoma maandiko matakatifu maandishi ya watakatifu kipai uh, sorry uh, sakramenti ya kitubio mara kwa mara tumeambiwa na askofu maneno mazuri sana mumekuwa wazima katika imani kwa hiyo tunapoenda katika kanisa ujue wewe ni mtu mzima na kwa hiyo yale yote ambao unayafanya ya kimungu na maisha yako ya kikristo it counts before the lord na kwa hiyo hata hivyo umekuwa mwalimu wa wengine tumeweza kushirikiana katika e, zile ofisi za Kristo mumekuwa makuhani mumekuwa manabii na vile vile wafalme iweni askari wema mkiendelea kutetea Kristo na maisha yenu kila mahali kwa hiyo wazazi tena wasimamizi mapadri wetu tuendelee na mafundisho ya hawa mpaka waweze kutumia na kuweza kufahamu kabisa maisha waliochukua wasije wakaanguka binadamu kweli anasongwa na changamoto nyingi na kwa hiyo katika imani hii yao changa tuangalie wasije wakaanguka kutoka imani ambao wameipokea asanteni sana sasa nitaomba sisi wote tuweze kusimama baba askofu atuongoze katika sala za waumini wale ambao wanatuombea jongeeni mbele with the joy knowing the spirit of god dwells within us we open our hearts and minds to the fire of god's love God Father and Creator of all we give thanks to you for the gift of faith guide and govern the holy father bishops priests men and women religious and all members of your church by your spirit that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold faith in unity of spirit in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life lord hear us lord graciously hear us sala kwa ajili ya familia ewe Mwenyezi Mungu sisi kama familia tunakushukuru kwa zawadi ya familia tunaomba roho mtakatifu atuangazie ili tuweze kutambua familia kuwa kanisa la nyumbani na shule ya imani na upendo 
kuimarisha familia kwa sala, sakramenti na tunu za kiinjili, na kushirikiana kwa heshima katika familia, kwa usitawi wa roho na wa mwili kwa wanafamilia wote. Tunakabithi kwako familia zenye misikosuko ya mafarakano, uwape neema, mwanga na nguvu za kuanza maisha mapya yenye amani, waweze kufurahia upatanisho na uponyaji wa pendo lako kati yao. E Bwana tunakuomba. E Bwana twakuomba Sala kwa ajili ya nchi. Tunakushukuru baba yetu kwa uongozi wako na uwepo wako katika mioyo ya wananchi. Tunaomba utujalie amani, umoja na uiano katika nchi yetu ya Kenya na nchi zote. Wabariki viongozi wote wa serikali na uwajalie nguvu na hekima ya kuongoza watu wako vyema. E Bwana tunakuomba. E Bwana tunakuomba. Prayer for the needy. Almighty ever living God, thank you for the abundance of life, relationships, health and comfort and wealth you have provided for us. We remember before you all the poor and neglected persons in our midst, whom it would be easy for us to forget, the homeless and the destitute, old and sick, and all who have no one to pray for them. Teach us to see with your eyes their tremendous dignity and to care for them as you care. May they feel your extreme comfort, hope, and love and meet them at the point of their needs, physically and spiritually, and make us see your face in them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Wisdom and understanding. God of wisdom and understanding, you gather what is scattered. Graciously hear our prayers, hear the prayers of your people. Unite in spirit's love, and grant that what we seek in the name of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Finally, kama vile nilivyokuwa nimetaja hapo awali tuketi tu tuendelee na nyimbo tayarisha sadaka yako wana CW watapita mahali hivupo na ndio utaweza kutoa sadaka yako wana kwaya mnaweza watupa nyimbo ambazo meanwhile uh, madikon wetu wanaweza kuwa anatayarisha alitari kina mama wa CW akadidati msipige kelele tulisema askofu ametufundisha sana kwa hiyo tusisahau kwa haraka Ni ukimia unatoa sadaka yako unasubiri wakina mama CW watapita pale na tutatoa sadaka yetu. Kina baba pia wa CMA wanalinda na wanaendelea. Kunao wako na mabahasha ukiwa sadaka yako ni ya kuweka hapo utachukua na kuweka pale. Kwa anakwaya tupe nyimbo za sadaka. Na taarifiwa kwamba wale CMA wamesimama watazunguka wakituonyesha wale ambao wataweza toa sadaka kupitia Mpesa hiyo namba itakuwa ipo pale karibuni wote
hiyo pepilo imebadikwa kule mkiangalia mtaiona wale watakao tumia simu na vile vile wa kandidati wetu kwa sadaka yenu mtaweka tu kwenye hiyo mifuko ya sadaka kwa yatendee kwa kina mama ndio wataleta matega kule kutoka nyu oh, the procession ya matega kina mama kwa ya
Napokea mimi kidogo nilichonacho kwa ni Mungu wewe wanijua mimi siwezi hata kueleza na kusihi sana baba unipokee nikawie na baraka niwe salama kutoka kila parokia wajunge kule nyuma ili kuleta sadaka the two representatives from every parish to go there i know they are aware of themselves wale katika procession ya matega with the cwe two young candidates the boy and a girl from st mary's mokuru to carry host and uh, wine. Wana kwaya, wimbo wa prote. Wengine wote tuweze kusimama kukaribisha the offertory. Kwaya.
Sani usaka guna yenu kubaliwe na Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. Bwana pokea sadaka kwa sifa na nguvu kwa jina lake na pia kwa mafaili tusisi 
E bana tunakuomba uyapokee kwa rehe mama wa bia watu mishi wako. Wajaria ufrana nishwe kikamilifu zaidi na mwanao. Na waziri kumushuhudia bila kukoma. Wakishiriki ukumbusho wa ukumuzu wake. Ambao kwa kuwa yeye amestahilisha roho wake. Ana ye ishi na kutawala milele na milele. Amina. Bana awe nanyi. Na awe roho ni mwako. Nweni mioyo. Tumeinu wako. Tumshukuru bana mugu wetu. Ni vema na haki. Kweli ni vema na haki teno la kufa na la kuleta wakofu. Tukushukuru we daima na popote. E bana baba li mtakatifu mugu mwenyezu wa milele. Wewe unagawa kila kitu kulingana majira balibali. Na unaliongoza na kulitawala kanisa la kukua jia za ajambu. Kwa maana kwa ngufu ya la mtakatifu uwachi kulisaidi ya kanisa la kukua. Kuzudi kwa moyo wenye kukutumainia, lisikose kamwe kukusihi kwa uchaji wakati wa shida. Walisikose kukushukuru wakati wa furaha kwa jia ya kristu bana wetu. Kwa hiyo pamonya na malaika wa binguni, tunakusifu, tukiungama kwa furaha, tukisema. Ebana kweli o mtakatifu na kila kumbe kichuba na kina kusifu kwa haki. Maana kwa jia mna mbwana wetu Yesu Kristu na kwa uwezo tedaji wa mtakatifu. Unavitia vitu vyote na kufitakatifuza. Wala huwachi kukusanya watu kwako. Ili toka mwaju hata machio yake. Labi savi toyewe kwa jina lako. Basi ebana tunakusi konye kefu. Vipaji hivi ambavyo tumekutolea ili vitakase upende kufitakatifuza kwa lawa huyo huyo. Ili viwe mwili na damu na wabana wetu Yesu Kristu. Ayetu wa mutu adhimishe mafumbo haya. Maana yeye mwenyewe wakati ulalipotolewa. Ayetu wa mkate na haki kushukuru. Alibubaliki haka umega na haka wapa wafuasi wake haki sema. Tuwaeni mlenyote. Huu diyo mwile wangu, utaka otolewa kwa ajiri yenu. Vivyo hivyo, baada ya kula, akitoa kikombe na kushukuru, alikibaliki na haka wapa wafuasi wake, akisema, tuwaeni mwenye nyote, hiki ndicho kikombe cha dami yangu, Damu ya ganu jipia na la milele. Itake moya kwa jina kwa jiri ya wengi kwa madu ya dhambi. 
Fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu. Fumbo la imani. Tuwapadhimisha ukumbusho wa mateso ya mwanao ya leta wakofu. Pamoja na fuko wake wa jambu na kupaa kwa kibinguni. Tunapotazamia ujio wake wa pili. Tunakutoa kwa shukrani. Sada kailio hai na takatifu. Na kuomba ya angalie matoyo ya kanisa lako. Na kwa kutuabia ya alie kafala. Ambaye ulitaa kutulizwa kwa sada kwa kipo chake. Jerie si tunatuwa ngufu kwa mwenye adamu ya mwanao. Na kujaa swalo wake mutakatifu. Tupate kuwa mwini mmoja na loho mmoja katika kristu. Yeye atupanye sisi tuwe kwako sadaka timilifu ya milele. Ili tuweze kupata urithi pamoja na wate ule wako. Kwanza kabisa pamoja na bikra maria mwenye heri mamo wa mungu. Na mtakatifu yosefu mme wake huyo bikra. Na mitume wako wenye heri na mashahidu wako watukufu. Mtakatifu Teresa wa Avila na watakatifu wote. Ambao tunategemea kupata daima msaada wa maumbezi yao mbele zako. Na kuomba ebuana huyu alie kafara na upatanisho wetu. Alete amana ukovu duniani kote. Upede kulimarisha katika imana mapedo kanisa lako. Inaro safiri hapa duniani. Pamoja na mtumishi wako, baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco. Na askofu wetu kikuwa nyoro. Askofu bishop kamau ambaye tuko nae hapa. Pamoja na maskofu wote. Wakilero wote na watu wote unawafanya kuwa taifa lako. Wakubuke pia e buwana watumishi wako ambao ukiisha kuwaza upya kwa batizo umepeda kuimarisha kwa paji la Roma takatifu kwa rehema yako ulide neema yako ndani yao Usikilize kwa wema sala za jamaa hii iliyo uliyoita hapa mbele yako e baba uliye mtakatifu kwa huruma yako wakusanye kwako wanao wote waliotawanyika popote duniani wapokee kwa wema katika ufalme wako ndugu zetu marehemu na wote walioaga dunia wakiwa wamekupendeza na tunatumaini kufika katika ufalme huo ili pamoja tushibishwe milele kwa utukufu wako kwa jia Kristo bwana wetu ambaye kwa jia yake unaujaria ulimwengu mema yote kwa jia yake pamoja na ndani yake we Mungu wa Mwenyezi katika mwenye mtakatifu napata heshima yote na utukufu milele na milele na sasa kwa ritia agizo la mwokozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho ya Mungu Madhubutu kusema baba yetu uliye binguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku usamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyosamehe na sisi waliotukosea usitutie katika kishawishi lakini utoboe maovuni e bwana kuomba tuomboe katika maovu yote tujie kwa mama ni maisha ni mwetu Kusudi kwa msawada huma yako 
Tuo pray daima na dhambi. Watu fadha ishwe na jablo lote. Tumpu tazamia tumaida enye heri. Na ujiwa mokozi wetu Yesu Kristu. Kwa kuwa ufalme ni wako na nguvu na utukufu hata milele. E bana Yesu Kristu. Uyabia mitume waka wa maina chieni ya mani yangu na wapa. Udazame dha vizetu ya mani ya kanisa lako. Upede kulijari ya maina umoja kama lefi wa penisi yako. Unaye ishi na kutawala milele na milele. Amina. Mani ya bana iwe daima nani. Na iwe rohoni mwa. Mpeani ya mani. Tazama mwana kondo wa mungu. Tazama mwana kondo wa mungu. Tazama mwana Eheri wa waliku kwenye kalamu ya mwana kondo. E bana sista inge kwa. Lakini sema mwana kondo. kipindi cha komunio na wakati huu wakadidati wetu wageni wa heshima e, wao watapokea hapa mbele mapadri watajipanga kwa hiyo mahali upo tutaenda uh, kwa utaratibu wengine tuliopo huko nyuma mapadri pia watakuja huko lakini wakadidati watapokea hapa mbele kwa hiyo ni wakati wa komunio tunajua kwamba wakadidizi wote wamepewa Uh, kitubio kwa hao watapokea wakristu wengine wale tumejitayarisha na tunaruhusiwa basi ni kipindi hicho cha komunio tuweze kupokea Wak, uh, wanakwaya nyimbo za uh, komunio Hey 
mwanapendeza bwana na wote ule mwana Yesu mkameza yake haya ndugu simama na we mshiriki kwanza tukazama pesa yake inakopendeza bwana na wote ule mwana Yesu mkameza yake haya ndugu simama na we mshiriki Kristo ametuonyesha kumpokea katika Ekaristia. Baada ya sala ya sala baada ya komunio wanakwaya mtatuongoza katika wimbo wa shukrani.
Roho ya Kristo. Roho ya Kristo nitakase, mwili wa Kristo niokoe, damu ya Kristo nifurahishe, maji ya ubaku wa Kristo yanioshe, mateso ya Kristo nguvu nizidishie. Ewe Yesu mwema unisikilize katika madonda yako unifiche. Usikubali nitengwe nawe na adui mwangu unikinge. Saya kufa kwangu uniite, uniamuru kwako nije. Sifa zako ni imbe na watakatifu wako, milele na milele. Amina.
na ukimia basi tuwe na sara baada ya komoni. Tuombe. E bana uzidi kuajalia baraka yako. Hata siku zijazo hao waliopako kwa Roho Mtakatifu na kushibishwa kwa sakramenti ya mwanao. Wakisha shida mabaya yote. Rifreshe kanisa lako kwa utakatifu wao na kwa matendo yao ya mapendo wasaidie ili stawi ulimwenguni kwa ajili ya Kristo Bwana wetu. Na sehemu ya pili ambayo tutaongozwa naye Madam Mary atatuelekeza kwa ukimia wa kadidati nyinyi ni wageni wetu wa heshima kwa hiyo tuendelee kutulia mambo tunaendelea vizuri na Mungu yuko upande wetu asante sana paka hapo tumefika karibu Asante sana Father Patrick Tumsifu Yesu Kristo Naomba tuwashangilie sasa wameacha kuwa candidates na wamekuwa soldiers of Christ. Can we do a round of applause for our former candidates who are now soldiers of Christ? Asante sana. Congratulations. His lordship has just told you you are mature. Nyinyi sasa utoto tumewacha. Sindio? Utoto tumewacha. We are now mature. Your lordship, I would like to move to the next part of our program. Sasa tunasonga katika sehemu ya pili maya tatu ya siku ya leo. Tutakuwa na few speeches. And then it will guide the next level. Naomba kumwalika, Dinari Executive Moderator. Now while he's doing his remarks, I request the CMA and CWA to get ready with their gifts. Because as soon as he's done, you are next. CMA and CWA, get ready. Uh, can we welcome our Dinari Moderator with a clap. Thank you. Thank you. Samuel Marwa is a Dinari Executive Moderator for Makadara Dinari. Welcome. Your Lordship, Bishop David Kamau, Father Dean, Father John Joroge, the Assistant Dean, Father Dominic Muturi, and all the priests present, deacons, sisters, my fellow leaders, now a Christu wote mulio fika huku. Tumsif Yesu Christu. Tumsif Yesu Christu tena. Happy Family Day. Iyo sauti kochini sana. Happy Family Day. Thank you. Uh, we are all gathered here to celebrate uh, this day. Najua tulikuwa tumengoja sana. Ama tukwa tumengoja? Tukwa tumengoja? So furaha tunayo hatuna? Tunayo hatuna? Today we gather here as one united family bound by faith and guided by the principle of servant leadership 
to celebrate this year's Family Day under the theme, A United Family, Strong in Faith, and Servant Leadership. Journeys together as one people of God. It is a theme that reminds us of the incredible strength that lies within our families and importance of our journey together as a community of believers. This theme embodies the essence of that, what family truly means and value that binds us together as a deanery. As we all know, a family is a cornerstone of our society. It is where we find our first lesson in love, compassion, and understanding. It's a place where we learn about sharing, empathy, and the, the importance of standing together, hand in hand, through all life, joy, and challenges. If you look at our theme today, it has three parts. A united family, strong in faith, and servant leadership. What does it stand for? A united family. It reminds us of strength that comes from unity. And indeed, I can confirm Makadara Dinari, we are united. Strong in faith. It speaks of spiritual foundation that strengthens our family. Faith is our source of guidance, comfort, and hope. Servant leadership. Embody the selfness that characterizes the family that journeys together. True leaders within the family are those who serve within humility and love. My brothers and sisters, let us all remember that journey of our family is not always smooth. There are times of trial and difficulties. But it is precisely in this moment that the strength of a united family, reinforced by the faith and guided by servant leadership, shines brightest. Let us celebrate the love that binds us together, the value that sustains us, and the unwavering support that we provide for one another as a deanery. I want to express my profound gratitude to each one of you for being part of this loving and united family. Together, we are living testament of power, of faith, and servant leadership. May our journey together continue to be filled with love, unity, and unwavering faith in the part that God has set before us. May God bless you all, and we may be united, family, shine as a beacon of hope, love, 
in our community and in the world. Thank you, and thank you very much. Your Lordship, we, I don't serve alone in this dinari. We have a leadership that I wish to introduce. I request the DPC kindly stand where you are. Dinari Pastoral Council, the current DPC, where you are. Your, your Lordship, this is the team that uh, I serve with, and I request that uh, the executive to come here to introduce themselves. Kindly, the executive. They'll just say the name and the position that they serve. God is good all the time. And all the time, my name is Sophia Modoni Kivuti from Blessed Sacrament. I serve as the vice moderator. Tumsifu Yesu Christu, Cassandra Maureen from St. Risa's Parish, Assistant Secretary. Mungu ni wa upendo na kila wakati ni naitwa Gentrix Oyasi from St Joseph and Mary Shaurimoyo the secretary Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati kwa majina ninaitwa Victor Odero treasurer St Joseph Jericho treasurer Dinari Asanteni naomba mketi Your lordship hi familia ni kubwa Na kama ilivyo desturi katika muda fulani kuna kuwa na uchaguzi na tulipoingia kuna wale viongozi walio tukabidi huongozi na siku ya leo tunawa celebrate pia uh, tuko na njia kipekee ya kuwa celebrate ningependa walipo pia wasimame tuwapigie makofi kuna nakala tulizo waandalia ningependa your lordship tuweze kuwakabidhi kwa kazi nzuri walioifanya hii ndio team iliyoenda miaka miine tunayojua in 2020 we had covid 19 ambayo ili affect uh, most of the things that we all know i may not mention and he team haiku give up heko kwao Ningependa nikita jina tafadhali tukue karibu mtokee nakala hii Evelyn Nakumincha Ekirapa 
akifatiwa na Jacob Sila na Pascal Kituku Prudence Beru Opaka fatiwe na Peter Mululu Roman Msau afuatiwe na Peter Mwangi Anthony Murithi David Atoli Henry Fire Francis Wanderi Agnes Kimiti Nelly Maingi Tabi Kimoli Nelly Maingi Tabi Kimoli David Atoli Ibrahim Madime Nicholas Ndungu Mary Mary War Wahere Is it Were? Anthony Ogutu Meshak Awange Elizabeth Odiambo Paul Mwanzia Jacinta Wangare Steven Deritu Millsent Akinyi Michael Gaido Mwangi Dismas Rapando Wakwaya Janet Aoko Monica Karanja In the previous executive we had uh, it was being led by Father Emmanuel Juguna Ibrahim Madime on behalf Father Emmanuel Juguna I request that you and Father Ignatius Njue
Nicholas Ndungu was the moderator I took for, uh, over from Nicholas. <laughs> Monica Karanja was the vice moderator. <laughs> Prudence Beru, Manyalieka Pesa Vizuri Sana, was the treasurer. <laughs> Milcent Akinyi was the secretary. And last but not least, Tabi Kimoli was the vice secretary. Your Lordship, CWA walisema walicheza sana kule na wakasema hawata kuacha. Wakasema wana jambo wangependa kukuambia. So ningependa tu wa mama tuko tayari. Tuko tayari? Yeah. Aya basi, tujongea pambe lakini wachache tutusijia wate nafasi ni kidogo. Na waze pia tujitarishe, tuwe karibu. Jaribu kufanya raka kidogo. Kwa ya wamama wanakuja mbele tunge wapatia muondo kwa kidogo. Mungu ni mwema na wakila wakati Mungu ni mwema, mwema Bishop wetu Kamau kila wakati Mungu ni mwema Sisi tuko hapa Bishop baba yetu sisi ni wamama wa CWA kutoka dikania ya Makadara tuko hapa kwa niemba ya wamama wote katika parizi zetu nane na tukasema baba akikuja lazima mama anjiangalie arudi kwa kiondo Arudi kwa mfuko baba yetu apate kungara. Leo hii tunakuza wadi. Haya haya tunaona. Ederea. Iko na nini? Iko na nini? Haya 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 patia mtoto wa mbele. Hiyo wimbo ilikuwa inasema mtoto wa mbele lazima avalishwe. Sasa wa mama chezeni kama nyinyi. Kazi kwenu, Alvo, DJ. CMA, CMA, to Jongep. DJs. CMA.
God is good and all the time. Mbele yenu baba skofu na wakristo wote ni wanaume wa CMA wa dekani ya Makadara. Tuko hapa kwa niaba wanaume wote ambao ni wa CMA kwa parokia zote nane. Na tuliamua tutamzawadia askofu wetu na mbuzi ambao iko within the compound lakini iko malishoni hapa hapa. Sawa. Na hiyo mbuzi hatuwezi achilia hivyo tutaizindikisha na kabasha kidogo kwa kwa hapa bishop wetu aende akunywe supu apate nguvu ya kututumikia na kuendelea kutuombea kwa Mungu. Asante ni sana. Uh, MC Langu Asante ni sana na Hello. 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 Furaha tunayo hatuna. Tunayo hatuna. Aya asante ni sana na watakia sherehe njema. Si tumekuja tumejitayarisha. Aya asante ni sana. Let's give a round of applause to our ordinary moderator. At this point, at this point, nataka kwanza to appreciate our choir. Let's give them a clap. They have done very well. They have sung very, very well. I also want to appreciate our children. They have danced very, very well. Can we appreciate our children? Our PMC, St. Joseph's Primary School, they were the dancers of the day. At this point, I would like to welcome the host moderator, executive moderator for Holy Trinity, Mr. George Oyange, to give his remarks in form of a vote of thanks. Karibu, George. Our chief guest, His Lordship, Bishop David Kamau, Father Dean, Father George Njoroge, Vice Dean, Father Dominic Muturi, our dinary clergy, religious uh, brothers and sisters, uh, dinary pastoral Council Executive, Wathi Makadara Dinari Parishioners, and everyone gathered here, God is good, and all the time, happy family day. Thank you. It is my privilege to acknowledge the contributions of everyone who worked really hard to make this family day celebration a success. On behalf of Holy Trinity Guruguru Parish, I sincerely thank the Almighty God for making today, today's events a resounding success. With his blessings and grace, we feel honored to host this Family Day. In a special way, I express hearty gratitude to our chief guest, His Lordship, Bishop David Kamau, for finding time uh, to grace this occasion. Today, we have had an opportunity 
to benefit from your pastoral wisdom, where nearly 600 candidates were confirmed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Not to mention the consecration of our grotto. Thank you. <laughs> we are immensely grateful to the Deanery Organizing Committee for the distinguished stewardship and leadership during the preparations of this Deanery uh, Family Day. <laughs> We extend our sincere gratitude to all the parish, parishes constituting Makadara Dinari, led by the executive, Dinari executive, for the enormous cooperation and participation in this event. In a special way, we thank the joint choirs, uh, our children, PMC, and St. Joseph Primary, for the impressive, uh, joyous, impressive performances. Thank you very much. <laughs> we also thank all the people who worked behind the scene to make the event success. The service providers whose efforts resulted to this impressive setup, uh, with special mentions of Gafchin TV and Radio Almini for their live coverage. Thank you. Radio Maria, sorry, for their live coverage. Thank you very much. Our sincere gratitude goes to the catechists, uh, the, the catechist parents and guardians for the support and encouragement to the children who have been confirmed today. Thank you so much for being part of this event. Last but not least, a big thank you to each one of you who made this Family Day celebrations memorable for all of us. On behalf of the parish, let me thank all Makadara Dinari parishes and the community around us. Uh, we, do know, we honor and value you in every moment as we reflect on this day's theme, a united family, strong in faith, and a servant leadership, journeys together as one people of God. Thank you very much. Happy Family Day. Thank you very much, George. Let's appreciate the moderator in a better way. He has been very instrumental in what you are saying today. He is our leader, and while this was a dinner event, you can be sure that the whole parish had a big role to play in it. I have an announcement. There was a certain family gentleman who was given a key to a certain vehicle by a parishioner. I don't have the details. Could you go to the security gate, desk at the gate, and drop the key there? The second one, the owner or the driver of KAM 247J. KAM 247J. Unaitwa Kwadariako. Tafadali, driver or the owner of KAM 247J. Unahita jika kwa gari lako. At this point, your lordship, I would like to invite Father Dean to come forward and make his remarks. A round of applause as we welcome Father Dean. We have a host for this day. naye katika safari hii mapadri wenzangu watawa wakristo wote all of protocols observed tumusifu Yesu Kristo 
Mungu wetu ni mwema na kila wakati basi siku ya leo yangu sio mengi kwa sababu mengi tumeambiwa in form of speeches and even the vote of thanks kwangu ni kufurahia kwamba kama dekania tuko hapa kusherekea siku ya familia yetu siku ambayo imetayarishwa ikatayarika na tukaweza kukutana sisi wote ni furahi sana kwamba kwa sababu sio wakati wote tunakutana kama dekania niseme ya rodship mwaka huu ulikuwa mwaka wa uchaguzi katika parokia zetu zote na katika kidao sisi yetu wa Nairobi na niseme ya kwamba ha viongozi ambao wameorganize au wameandaa hii sherehe wanaorganize au wanaandaa ikiwa mara ya kwanza niseme ya kwamba uchaguzi katika parokia zetu zote wa Kristo wapenzi mlifanya vizuri hatukuwa na shida zozote na wakati huu tume embrace our leaders ili waweze kutuongoza katika kuendelea mbele katika imani na kwa hivyo na wapongeza wote wa Kristo ambao tuko hapa na wale ambao hawakuweza kufika hapa kwa hivyo tujipigie makofi wote Nikipenda kuliko organize the effort ya mapadri wetu ambao tunafanya kazi katika dekania hii kwa sababu ya umoja ambao tunaonyesha wakati tunapokuwa na maandalizi au kazi zote za kitume ambazo tunaumbwa ili tuweze kuzifanya na kwa hivyo kwa mapadri wetu wote ambao wamekuwa appointed kwenye dekania hii pia nawapongeza niwaambia kwamba we work well and we thank God for them being our shepherds in our dinner pia wao tumapigie makofi <laughs> na wakristo wote wakati tunapokuja kwenu tukitaji yote ambayo yanastahili kufanya utume uwe na ratha na pia sisi wote tuweke imani yetu kwa group zetu zote more than 10 ambazo ziko katika kila parokia kwa kweli kuna organization nzuri na siwezi mama hapa ni ya kwamba kuna mambo mazito ambayo yanatufanya tusiendelee na utume wetu kama inavyotakiwa na kwa hivyo all the groups all the christians wache tujipigie makofi wote <laughs> Mimi yangu ni kuomba ya kwamba kama tulivyoanza tulivyoanza synod na tunaenda pe kushikana we are commissioned we are participating nikiomba ya kwamba kama vile modaita wetu ambaye alikuwa hapa alituambia tuweze kufanya kazi harmoniously tukianza tena mwaka mwingine kwa sababu tutakuwa labda na family nyingine uh, mwezi wa kumi mwaka ujao tuendelee kushikana mikono katika imani tuweze kufanya hii kazi ya Mungu tukiwa pamoja kwa hivyo nawaomba kwamba Mungu atusaidie tupe neema ili tuweze kukuza dina yetu katika parokia zetu zote nane na kwa hivyo mimi sina mengi ya kuambia leo yote yamesemwa ni kusema kwamba we are happy for you we are happy for the teams that have worked for this uh, uh, family day and especially for the trinity na uh, um, na committee ambayo ilikuwa imechaguliwa najua kwamba wamefanya kazi sana ndio mnaona kuna onda kuna kila kitu ambacho kimeenda vizuri kwa hiyo tunafurahi sana na tuombe Mungu aendelee kusaidia Nianaunce hapa ya kwamba our next family day uh, mwaka ujao itakuwa makadara OLV. Wow. Your worship every year wakati tuna family day tunakuwa na charity ambayo tunafanya ili tuweze kusaidia na wenzetu. Na mwaka huu uh, committee ambayo ilikuwa inaanda the DPC walichagua parokia moja iko kule upande wa Lord wa Diocese na Morokut Catholic Church ambayo wataweza kupokea charity ya mwaka huu ya shilingi 1100. Na kwa hivyo tunatakiwa kadaraji kwa hapa ambaye ataipokea naomba atapakie kila kwa itakukabidhi uh, baba Skofu ili aweze kukukabidhi kama contribution yetu ya dina ya makadara ya
Asante sana. Na watakia kila raheri mungu wetu awabariki. MC. for good order. Na rifiwa ya kuwa, kutoka hapa, tutapata baraka ya mwisho, lakini hatujamaliza sherehe. Tut, after baraka ya mwisho, tutakata keki, your lordship, we request that you will be part of the cake cutting, you're our guest of honor today. And then after keki, tutapata lunch. Kwa hivu, tusiende. Okay, basi, I invite uh, the Lordship to finish the Eucharist so that we can go to the other part of cutting the cake. Tumusif Yesu Christu. Bana, Bana, awe nanyi. Sata hapa, balaka ya peke. Awabariki muumba mwenyezi aliwafanya watoto wake ninyi mliozaliwa mpya kwa maji na roho mtakatifu awalide kumstahili pendo lake la kibaba wote amina awabariki mwanae pekee aliahidi roho wa ukweli adumu kukaa katika kanisa na awaimarishe kwa nguvu zake katika kuyungama imani ya kweli Awabariki roho mtakatifu aliyowasha moto wa mapendo damu yao ya mwafuasi na ninyi nikuwa mmekusanywa katika umoja awaongoze bila dhambi kwenye furaha ya ufalme wa Mungu Amina nyote mlio kusanyika hapa awabariki Mungu mwenyezi baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu the newly confirmed PMC and St. Joseph's Primary School. Kama kuna mtoto ambaye ako na mzazi, wazazi, the rest of us, tuna serve on my right, pale kwa ile gate, kuna ketara sent there, that is where we will do our cues there. The children on my left, wale watoto wako accompanied by their parents, tusianze kutafuta watoto, Tafadali msav na adults. Kwaya, tupatie wimbo wa Maria as CWA are setting up.
pamoja na askofu wakate keki na tafadhali keki ni nyingi sana keki itafika mahali upo naona tumeshasimama tafadhali tuketi keki zitaletwa all over hata yule ako kwa gate ni atakula wa kwanza CW Thank you Mary Makadara dinarioye Oye Watoto oye Hata si waski. Watoto oye. Your Lordship. Bishop Kamau. I was telling a colleague of mine she was complaining and I told her we are fasting. And akaniambia kwamba family day you feast. So I told her we'll first of all fast and then we feast. So time has come for us to Time has come for us to I I am feasting and we do it in style. So I have my two friends here, Nafesa and Austin, please. Kujeni muni join. Makofi kwao. Aya watoto, see we are in our family day. Yeah? Binary. He family ko complete kweli. Inataka e nani? Baba. Sasa siju tutatoa api baba. Baba, baba, moderata DPC. Siju ndio baba ama grandfather. Lakini kuja. Moderata DPC, we will know. Moderata CMA, siju ndio baba. Utakubali kuwa tu grandfather. Moderata 
CMA binary, and then moderator CWA binary, karibuni hapa. Mukikuja mnacha na fasi kidogo, sindio? So ndio hii familia pia, hii familia siko kwa kanisa. Na kwa kanisa nataka nitaomba moderator DPC utulete binary din. Father. DJ kuna kakitu wa maende tu akitembea hivyo. So tulete father din. DJ. Na, na fesa, na fesa, tafadhali. So ni na waomba, muende, sijinyi ni guest of honors. Sindio? Sasa muende mlete guest of honor mwenzenu. Tulete our lordship, the bishop. And then mu, mu mbembeleze paka mkuje na yeye. DJ, mbembeleze paka mkuje na yeye. When I grew up, I want to be like Bishop. Amen. So, Nafesa, hiyo keki imeandikwa, siju imeandikwa nini? Lakini suta tusomea? Okay. A united family, strong in faith and servant leadership, journeys together as one people of God. Makofi, that is our theme this year. Na sababu watoto tuliambiwa tutaacha utoto. Sisi ni watu wazima. Austin is going to pray for us before we start cutting the cake. Kwanza na pesa. Uyu ni sent nani? Hiyo picha ni ya nani? Sent Teresa. Sent Teresa of Avila. Thank you, Nafesa, Austin. You lead us in a word of prayer. Sindio? Itaisho kumombi. Kwa jina la baba. Tubariki mungu wetu. Sisi na kilicho ambili wetu. Ili tupate nguvu ya kutumikia vema. Kwa jina la baba. Makofi kwao, makofi kwao. They are now grown up in faith. You can see. So, nataka nyinyi wote hapa mmesima, nataka hii keki ikate na watu wakule. Mukitaka tukule hivyo pia, kazi kwenu. Haya, Bishop. DJ, 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 DJ.
Chaimba, but we are all united as Makadara Dinari in this case. Sawa sawa. So Na hii Capuchin TV ni chombo kizuri sana na chombo hiki kazi yake ni evangelization. Kwa hivyo ningeomba mufanya mambo matatu. Jambo la kwanza tafadhali wewe enda uangalie Capuchin TV kuna mambo mazuri sana kuna maombi kuna watoto wanafanya mambo mazuri, kuna mafundisho, kuna misa takatifu kila siku. Kwa hivyo tafadhali ukipata nafasi utazane, utazame Capuchin TV. Jambo la pili, uwaombe kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya. Manake ndio TV ya kipekee ya Catholic na mabishop wanaisupport kabisa, manake inafanya kazi mzuri kama leo kama kuna watu wako Italy wangependa kuangalia what is happening leo wangepata nafasi kwa hivyo muwaombe sana kwa hiyo kazi nzuri ambao wanafanya na jambo la tatu mwa support wewe wana paybill namba watumie hata ni kama ni shilingi mbili kwa hivyo tafadhali mwa support muwatumie kitu kidogo kwa paybill namba na mambo hayo ili waweze kuendelea na hiyo kazi. Kwa hivyo asatendi father kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya. Tuendelee kufanya kazi paybill number 510678 account name caps tv Na hii Capuchin TV ni chombo kizuri sana na chombo hiki kazi yake ni evangelization kwa hivyo ningeomba mufanya mambo matatu jambo la kwanza tafadhali wewe enda uangalie Capuchin TV kuna mambo mazuri sana kuna maombi kuna watoto wanafanya mambo mazuri kuna mafundisho kuna misa takatifu kila siku kwa hivyo tafadhali ukipata nafasi utazane utazame Capuchin TV. Jambo la pili uwaombe kwa hiyo kazi mzuri Na hii Capuchin TV